This is all about renewable energy on the next level. Watch! Hi, good day to everyone. This is Arthur. And of course, Richard Aguilar here. And we are back again today to give you another wonderful video. Geothermal energy is a kind of renewable energy that is cost-effective, reliable, sustainable, and environmentally friendly. It is generated and stored in the earth. So in this video, you will see exactly how geothermal energy is already becoming popular in some countries in the world. And having said all this, without further delay, here we go with our video. Number one is, hot air can provide sustainable source of electricity. Hot liquid and steams stored inside the earth have a huge potential to generate electricity, such as through turbines. Here in the Rake James Peninsula, they're drilling beyond the usual 2.5 km depths of a geothermal well. Technicians have reached what they call supercritical steam, a huge source of power reaching 500 C, close to magma reservoirs. Drilling the Earth's crust is a risky operation also because the drill can go through a magma reservoir or a small quakes can be generated, especially in volcanic areas. Number two is, geothermal energy could heat homes and reduce our dependence on fossil fuels. Experts say geothermal energy is cleaner, more efficient, and more cost-effective than burning fossil fuels and it can reduce our dependence on foreign oil. Geothermal energy is clean because it can be generated without burning fossil fuels. Geothermal plants release a fraction of a carbon dioxide produced by fossil fuel plants and they create very little nitrous oxide or sulfur gases. Number three is Kenya's green geothermal power. Across the world, efforts are being stepped up to develop energy sources beyond fossil fuels. Geothermal energy generating electricity from hot rocks under the Earth's surface has huge potential to provide power while reducing carbon emissions. Geothermal power comprises about 43% of Kenya's electricity supply. Even as millions of Kenyans still depend on trees to make charcoal, as climate talks proceed in Poland at the COP24 summit, the East African nation's efforts are an examples to the world's biggest emitters. Number four is, geothermal energy helps power Kenya's future. Mm -hmm. 
Geothermal energy is essentially a renewable source derived from the heat of the Earth, particularly in volcanically active areas. The Alcaria Power Plant is a groundbreaking project, a joint initiative involving the Kenya Electricity Generating Company or Kengen, Japan and other international partners. Balancing environmental conservation with energy development is one of the main tasks of Alcaria. Number 5 is Iceland experiments with volcanic energy. Iceland is often called the land of ice and fire. It has plenty of ice and glaciers, but it's also a geothermal hotspot of bubbling hot water cauldrons, geysers, and volcanoes. Harnessing all that energy is something Icelanders have been doing for generations, but they're about to take that concept one step further. Number 6 is Kenya taps into geothermal energy. Kenya's government has promised electricity bills will come down, thanks to new investment in geothermal energy. It is good news for households who previously complained of hefty bills. Hopes are also high that there will be a boost to big business. Number 7 is the geothermal farming. Korea has developed a new mango farming technique that makes use of geothermal heat to cut back in production costs and boost product quality. Mangoes, the popular tropical fruit, ripen lusciously in a greenhouse. This farmer is harvesting about three weeks earlier than at other mango farms. The early harvest is made possible by geothermal heat and underground air, which maintain an average temperature of 18 degrees. And that's all for now. 
I hope you enjoyed watching this video. So, if you have something to say about this video, please leave your comment below. Once again, this is Arthur. And of course, Mitchell Aguilar here. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful day. day.